One of the things I wanted to talk about before I started to show the outfits and what I think is the most important thing when you are dressing yourself. Uh. If you're not feeling confident and if you're not feeling sexy in your skin, you're never gonna like what you're wearing. And I found this a lot postpartum because I was uncomfortable in my body and I just didn't feel sexy or attractive at all because my body was just being used to, to keep a human alive. And I suppose survival isn't inherently desirable and I don't think it should be either. I don't think that women should be seen as sexy in everything they do, but at the same time, sometimes you do still want to feel desirable in yourself to like get in tune with your sexuality and your sensuality. Now that it's nearly February, it's nearly Valentine's Day guys, we're thinking of date ideas and just I'm kind of coming back into myself again. I'm getting the confidence back in my body. I am starting to feel sexy again. What has really helped that is Love Honey, which is the world's biggest online retailer for sex toys and lingerie. And they have two lines of lingerie that I have availed of. I have literally never felt sexier in my whole life. So on Love Honey, there's the Tiger Lily line, which is the red lace. It is actually way more comfortable than it looks. It's so soft and it also comes in a huge range of sizes. It comes in plus size as well. So there's something there for any shape. The Sweet Love range as well, which is so cute, but it's also sweet, light and really feminine. So I love the two for just depending on which mood I'm in. And I think lingerie like gives yourself a sense of agency in terms of like, you're taking back the control and the power of when you want to be sexualized and you're like giving yourself permission to be sexualized, if that makes sense. But if you want 20% off yourself just in time for Valentine's Day and it's also really really affordable. I use the code Keelan20 for 20% a further 20% off. If you want to go on a date and then strip off, I like to keep them guessing as in them as in like Jason. I like to keep them to guess and keep them on their toes. I'm wearing like a baby puke covered fleece but underneath it's the sexiest lingerie you've ever seen. But yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks little pony for sponsoring it. I have all the outfits picked out here. I just had to put on binaural beats because I felt like I was gonna have a panic attack while I was picking them out for some reason. But I did cut a chunk out of my finger this morning so that just set me off bad for the day and we didn't have any plasters either. So I have this like makeshift toilet paper plaster. I didn't wanna get blood on my clothes. Anyway, Irish designers over this end. This is giving yummy mummy. I have a hard time finding good quality trousers. I know where you can get jeans. Like I do get my jeans either secondhand or from weekday and they use organic cotton. Even at that, that's not even that great. I do need a dark wash denim jean. Yeah, if anyone has suggestions, all right. Okay, where should I set you up? Okay. For the first outfit, put on this Urban Outfitters skirt. These little toggle things on anything I've ever gotten. My peachy den trousers, my urban cargo parachute pants. The toggles have all broken in the washing machine. I don't know if that's a fault of mine or a fault of the actual piece, but uh, I don't think I'll be buying anything to do with toggles again. So I'm not a huge fan of anything with a toggle on it now. Okay. Over top, I'm gonna wear this denim jacket from the brand Sweet Skittibus. Get really structured. It looks kind of bad though with big boobs. That's the problem. And then over top, I'm gonna wear this weekday, weekday, what do you call this? Quilted khaki jacket. This I wish it was more structured. It's just a bit loose and like shitty quality for me. I got it off Depop, so I don't know. I'm undecided whether to get one, like a better quality one. I'd also love one in a different color. This is the buzz. I'm gonna wear this green bonnet. I have a matching one with me and my baby. Crochet Gal made this for me. She has a YouTube channel and yeah, she made me these. Now, I don't know which way this goes. I think it's this way. And it is slightly too big for me. So I am gonna clip it in with these curl clips. You can see that. Stunning. For an accessory, you can either go with this bag, which can be worn this way, or it could be worn this way for easy access. For an alternative bag, go for a pop of colour. This bag is by by Anna. Like, bye, bye Anna. She has loads of these bags on her Depop and she'll make them, like she will commission, I think she commissioned this for Jason for me for Christmas. So any colour you want or whatever, she'll do for you. But she also always has sales on her Depop as well. So they are really affordable. The only thing I will say is they are really, really heavy. I can't really wear for that long, if you know what I mean. Like if you're going on a hike, I wouldn't really bring bring this bag if you're planning on maybe you're on a holiday and you're walking around the city i wouldn't wear this bag because it is very heavy also i need to get a carabiner to fit my keys because if i put my keys in this it would probably fall through one of the holes you also can't put any pens in there but you can put a pe pencil case so that's the alternative does everyone like my this outfit 
next outfit. I'm not gonna wear the bonnet this time. I'm gonna go with this claw clip. Why do I feel like a beauty influencer? This claw clip is from, um, whatchamacallit, Claire's. It's green and suede. It's my favorite claw clip at the moment. It was on sale. I went into Claire's to buy my sister presents for Christmas and it was just so, oh, like I would actually buy all the shit in there for myself, but it is extortionate. It's like taking out a fucking down payment on a house in there. So little claw clip moment, handy for the kids. She's at a pulling hair stage now, so I kind of always have to have my hair out of my face, otherwise she will rip it out of my head. So yeah, you can go like this. I think if you wear like a long sleeve thermal underneath this, you can go out in the cold. Personally, I do like to layer, layer it up though. So I'm gonna go with this jacket again. Again, I wish this, was, this jacket was a bit more structured and better quality. So I might invest in maybe a blue one, like a baby blue one, probably with this bag. I don't know if it would go with the orange one. This bag is from Depop, from a vintage shop in Depop. <laughs> but yeah. I've had to stop putting rollers in my hair because I think my scalp is just too sensitive and because my hair is falling out so much I have to leave it alone even though it makes me feel worse not styling it because it's so obvious that my hairline's receding if I don't style it if that makes sense so I'm just trying to leave it au natural if anyone's like ew why couldn't she do her hair for this <sighs> I'm trying not to so I have to wear it down as much as possible or in a loose claw clip which is the best hairstyles to keep your hair in or a silk scrunchie which I have I have or sat, I have this satin scrunchie they're the best hairstyles to keep your hair in if your hair is falling out Okay, so next outfit. This is really living my yummy yummy fantasy. I'm obsessed with this cardigan. Cardigans also such a huge necessity if you are a breastfeeder, especially during the winter because if you wanna wear a short sleeve top and it's freezing, if you're wearing a jumper and all these other layers, it's much easier if you're wearing an open jacket, a cardigan, so you can just take open a few buttons, like so, lift up your top and then pop the nipple out and breastfeed them like that. You're staying warm, your baby's staying warm. I was on the hunt for good cardigans. It was really hard to find any that didn't make me look frumpy or something. I still do feel a bit frumpy in this, but also I'm just like self-acceptance. I do have big boobs and I have to, I have to get used to it. I, I don't think it's the, so I don't think it's the most flattering on my shape. I wish the sleeves were a bit baggier and this part was a bit tighter, but beggars can't be choosers. It's, uh, it also looks really nice when it's opened, so you can wear it in a loads of different ways, but the way I like to wear it is jackets over top. Now this is my Gani. Cost now uses some sustainable, I know it's not the best, but it is sort of slow, slower fashion and they use sustainable materials in some of their clothes. So. It's still a bit better. Gani is like 100% sustainable brand. They use recycled, 100% recycled polyester to make this jacket. And it also comes with the, you know, the frilly, the frilly collar, the frilly cottage core collar that buttons on. Now, the thing, I love the collar, but it's more so, it's weird because it's such a warm jacket, but I feel like I would only wear the collar in the summer because it looks, it's so annoying to wear in, a wi in the wind because it keeps flapping in your face. So I just took it off, but also that gives it a bit more versatility, I think as well, and more ways to wear it, which is why I love it so much. I feel like a, like a happy teddy bear or something. And I also wear, I have this silk scrunchie satin scrunchie that I got from Trua. They gave me loads in loads of different colors, but I mostly just wear the white one. So in a loose ponytail with the scrunchie is how I like it the best. And there's two types of pockets in this jacket, this way and this way, so you stay warm. Love anything with pockets. And these are the par parachute pants I was talking about from Urban. I'm not wearing any shoes in, in any of this because we don't wear shoes inside our house. Uh, anymore because she's about to start crawling so we're not wearing shoes inside the house it gets dirty too quickly but yeah the toggles are like broken at the side so I would love exactly this pair of trousers but if they were like better quality so I don't know maybe I can look at uh, on Koss or Arquette but if anyone knows what I could look up because I'd easily buy them off Depop if I knew what I was looking for but I love this color combination it's kind of like whites and creams together it just makes me feel expensive and you could also wear it with these light wash denim jeans. I know I need a belt really, really badly because you know denim, it just like starts to, now these were like tied on me at the start and I haven't, I haven't lost any weight or like inches around my waist. It's just that denim kind of gets looser over time. I do need a belt to keep it up because they're like hanging, hanging off me and it's really annoying. And you know when you get like the low crotch and then your thighs start chafing. Okay, next outfit. The jeans are really sagging down low, like a crotch sort of. 
This is Jason's Burberry trench coat. He got it, I think, for like £100 on some Depop vintage site. I can only really wear this when I wear my platform docks. I can't wear it with flat shoes because it is way too long on me. It will be dragging on the ground. This is probably one of my favourite outfits because it makes me feel put together and it makes me feel confident and it just makes me feel like I know what I'm doing and I know what I want in life. I also have a little ribbon in my hair. As you can see. This is from Cos. Did I say that already? This cardigan is from Cos and the jeans are from Weekday. This is one of my new favourites. Again, I went on a vintage shop and looked up cardigans. But when you look up cardigans, it's so hit or mess, miss. Like, I don't like the sort of, like, granddaddy looking cardigans anymore. But I love, I, this is exactly what I was kind of looking for. It reminds me of Unif. I got it off Beyond Retro. I think it was, uh, I think it was £45, but I'm not sure. But they always have sales on there anyway, and it is cheap enough. I did get it dry cleaned though. It's like a new thing that I am doing. If I get vintage clothes, I'm going to dry clean them because I don't like the musty smell. I used to love the musty smell because it reminded me of my uh, granddad's house, but now I don't really like it anymore. So yeah, I've started to get my vintage stuff dry cleaned. This outfit though is a bit cold, so we went out at night time in this outfit before and I just added these gloves, which makes such a such a big difference. Now, Stun stunning. Where's my fucking phone? Am I recording? Where's my phone gone? I better fucking find it if Jason's trying to call me. Orange gloves are from Urban Outfitters. Jason got them for me though nearly two years ago. Wait, two years ago? A year ago. I bought these like handmade knitted star gloves. I'll try and sort of picture if I can find them, but I've lost one of them. That's the outfit. That's what I envisioned for this outfit and I found the one glove, but then I couldn't find the other one. And I got those on Depop. And when, initially when I bought it, she was only selling it for like 25 pounds. But then I think obviously she got loads and loads of orders and it was taking her too long. So now they're like, hundred pounds I think to be commissioned so I got them at a good time I probably paid the hundred pounds anyway but um I've lost one of them and I don't know where it is and I feel like Missy Moo could have stolen it and she does like to hide things under the couch so I'm gonna have to have a good search and I'll probably only fucking find it when we move out of this place but anyway then this from Beyond Retro I don't know where this jacket is from I think it's one of my sisters but it's definitely vintage or they got it in a charity shop jeans again are from weekday but I would probably prefer a dark wash denim jean I don't have any dark wash de denim jeans that are like a nice, just like straight fit. I don't want baggy, I don't want skinny, but I want like in the middle. So if anyone has anywhere, that's a good place to get jeans. I don't mind spending for them if they're good quality and maybe sustainable would be good. Then this outfit is another favorite. This this jumper is from Cos. It is 100% real wool though. So I have to do a cold wash and dry flat, which is, it's a bit of a, it's a bit, a bit of an effort when you have so much laundry to do. And I don't have that much wool things where I could put like a few things in one go. I'd have to wash it on its own, which is a bit of a stress, but I don't mind that much because I do love it. I do love it so much but it was hard because Missy sat on my lap and there's a lot of white hairs now stuck in it so I don't I think I have to get a lint roller something really adulting really really mature of me oh Jesus my feet are freezing I need, I'm gonna put my slippers on I would love to just wear my wear Uggs with mostly all of these outfits I just wear my platform docks but I would be wearing my Uggs but Saoirse stepped in shit and she hasn't cleaned them and there's still shit in the sole no shit got in the actual suede part it's just on the sole bit so I have to wait for her to clean them so this jumper is from Cos these trousers are from Urban Outfitters, but I did get a, I think I got a size too big because I uh, got these as a present from Jason for my birthday and I was still slightly swollen from giving birth. And now my body is like kind of gone back to normal. Um, but obviously when you were pregnant, your hips go a bit wider and your womb is a bit more swollen. So eventually it like goes all back to down to normal. I was just a bit inflamed. So I think that's why um, they're a bit too big for me and there's no belt loops, so I'm not sure, but they still do fit. It's just that the, they're hanging down. I might just get um, them taken up at the ends instead because they're supposed to be up here, but they hang low. But yeah, I really like these. Because of the seam, they always look like they've been pressed, if you know what I mean. Um, but it's just because they've been sewn that way, but it looks like you've ironed your trousers which is a good lazy hack. Since reading The Secret History, I'm like obsessed with, I might actually get a pair of pince -nez. Is that how you pronounce them? pince nez pince -nez. I'll insert a picture of them. That Fra Francis wears and wool coats. I just imagine, well, all of them all, all wore like really nice expensive fitted suits and wool coats and pince -nez and had curtains in their hair. We're always carrying around like 
the what's that book called the lexicon greek dictionary thing so this wool coat is obviously too big but i do roll it up and this might not be a good look for most people but i don't mind i don't mind rolling it up this jacket this coat was such a bargain. I got it on Beyond Retro for £28. And it does kind of look like I'm in my dad's clothes. In my mum's car. But I don't mind. I actually don't mind. I think it looks really nice. It's like real oversized chic, you know? And what else would I wear with this? This scarf is by Jess Jessica Ann Hart. He's an Irish designer. And it's 100% organic cotton. You can get them in indigo and cloth in Temple Bar. Jason got it for me for Christmas. So yeah, he could wear it like this. Love. Very Le Guillotin. Very I'm drinking pints of Guinness on Fade Street. In this outfit, I just feel like my dad may be proud of me. Like edging nearly there. Not quite. Not quite proud of me, but like nearly proud of me. Because I feel like an academic. I feel like I've probably got a degree. Maybe I'm moving on to my master's. Maybe even considering getting a PhD in something. Love. Yeah, love this scarf. Anyway, another one is this. But it does remind me of like, you know when you have a one night stand and it's a bit dark and then in the morning you realise the colour of their boxer shorts and it's just really embarrassing because you know that their mom bought them for them. This is what that pattern reminds me of. It just looks like the pattern of the boxer shorts that you know that their mom has bought them. But I do love like the the width of it. So I wish it was in a different colour. I, I wish it was in like a kind of a green or something. I don't like the navy, t the navy and purples together. It just reminds me too much of boxers. I might have actually slept with a, with a man with the, with this pattern of boxer and that's why I'm like traumatised from it. But I don't remember. Anyway, so I'm loving these outfits. I'm obsessed with this wool coat and I get Jason to wear it as well and it looks good on him too. Love. Okay, next outfit. Same trousers. White shirt, also from Men's Urban Outfitters, it's Jason's. I'm obsessed with this shirt as well. It makes me feel like the, it makes me feel I'm like Jessie from Parent Trap. So hard to find a really nice flowy, um, a flowy sort of cotton shirt. I don't know why, they're either shit quality, they don't sit nice on my, because my shoulders are very narrow and I wish they were a bit wider. So I like shoulders that like make my shoulders look a bit wider and don't make me look like I'm all boob at the same time but like still sort of feminine so if anyone has any other, other recommendations for where to get nice shirts do let do let me know I was thinking of getting one from Durf Avenue but I I've also seen a lot of bad reviews on TikTok and I think it just scared me out of it but also at the same same time a lot of like good reviews so I'm not quite sure um if I should invest in it or not let me know do you want to help another one of the wool coats that I got from Beyond Retro. This one fits me a bit better and was also £28 on sale but it, the shoulders are a bit wider than the other one but I think I like it like that as well. It's like that actress uh, what's her name This will probably look nice with the scarf as well. I don't like wearing too much because obviously there's a pattern on it on the coat so I wouldn't go too crazy underneath. But yeah, we'll probably only wear a, t a little handbag, like a handheld one, my do platform docks. And this is another outfit I would like with dark washed denim jeans or like a black suit pant, but like plain black, not with pinch stripes or anything. Is it a bit different? is by the designer Robin Lynch. She had a pop-up in Hen's Teeth, so we got it like on a bit of a discount. I think it was like um, wholesale price, if you get me, rather than retail price. Another thing is you do have to hand wash it, so it's not as convenient to wear or to wash. And especially with the baby, like she's puking and shitting all over the place, so you're bound to wash it, wash, need to wash things more often. But I do really like it, and it's real comfy supporting Irish design. It would obviously, it would look good with this bag too. I do, I think I might get a bag in a different color, maybe in a navy, maybe a black, like a play, maybe more of a neutral color uh, to wear with things, because I do really like the design of the bag, or I'll just get a different bag, I don't know. Yeah, I'm liking that design at the moment, whatever this is called. This is another Irish brand. Jason, where, where is this from? This is from Pelador FC. Wait, is it actually a football club? No, it's just called Pelador. Oh. <laughs> it looks nice with big boobs. The neckline is a bit too big for me. I probably wouldn't wear this top underneath. I'd probably wear a white top, but also looks good with the orange bag. Very Irish. Shanti so. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked them. Bye! Bye.
Yar er gil con bas no sail, la gana scrick, fui la vog na vilir, cali a ra na vin.